Hey guys, today we'll be doing an unboxing with Dan. So yeah, come on in. So yeah. Alright. Also, we might do a live stream one day, so yeah, I'll be there. So yeah. Alright, thanks for joining me. Dan. Alright, thanks. Alright. I've been waiting for that this day longer than you've been alive. Yeah, like, yeah. uh, it's been long. It's been a long time coming, this guitar. So Brent Mason's my biggest hero. Uh, on the Telecaster, and always will be. And it's been a long time coming that they do a signature guitar for him. And uh, my friends at Fender, and Brent Mason included, uh, saw to it that I was able to get one of these guitars. Uh, this is an insane moment for me. So we have a, a really nice, they've really upped their game. And Telepack, Prejus, what do you say? Um, it looks pretty nice. Okay. So we're going to pull up the guitar here. That's huge. Okay. Does it say anything? Ooh, a nice, just a black case. All right. Let's see what the inside's like. Let's put it on this George Strait chair. Open sesame. Oh my God. And it's orange. <laughs> wow. 11 years of my life went into this moment. Sincerely, really, truly, I've been studying Brent Mason Zola's for a decade. This is absolutely wild. Whoa, okay. So right off the bat, I, I don't know most of the quantitative aspects of what makes a guitar very much of a functional tool, but I do know a lot about the technical assets this guitar possesses that makes it a, a, a really unique instrument. Um, Let's go top down. So the Spurs L locking tuners are just a really fantastic approach. And these are actually, I'm guessing, okay, they're all tightened. It really makes for very clean and efficient guitar string change. And if you're doing sessions all the time, you have no choice but to do that. And on a lot of the 67, 68 tellies, you see um, a higher efficiency as you move these string trees up here. Um, notice how there's not one of the G-strings, so you can get those real big G-string bends. Now, you can't really do that B-string bend up here, can you, behind the knot? Well, do not fret, my friends, because Joe Glazer has you covered. The Glazer Bender, which Brad Paisley, I believe, also uses. I think he uses one called a McVeigh. Basically, on most B-benders, you kind of have this ostentatious hole that takes up a huge amount of the real estate of a, of a Telecaster. Well, not in the glazer bender. And you can also uh, optimize the tuning in which that is altered through this, this screw right here. Um, I've never played a glazer bender except the one time I've played Brent's telly when he was playing with the players at Third and Lindsley. So the B string goes in here, which is really insane. Okay, and there's no B string in here. So, and I can change it to a G string if I want. But I'm not going to. Not today. We're just going to stay with the B string. Let's plug it in. This is insane. Absolutely wild. So the infamous sonic ability that this guitar has is that you can have a constant blend of the ever elusive middle pickup Seymour Duncan really beautiful rose violet hue pickup of, of mystery. They didn't make these for a while. You couldn't buy them. Fender made it happen. And this is what makes it the Brent Mason signature telly. So you can blend in that pickup anywhere you want. So here is it. Here is a Seymour Duncan bridge pickup. With nothing. So bleed in 
fully bleeding. This thing is gushing now. The middle pickup in with that bridge. It's that kind of yin and yang of, of really tight with that banjo-esque Albert Lee slow hand Eric Clapton out of phase middle that just gives us the guitar. <laughs> its own thing, so that's all the way. And then if you go more middle ways, None at all. Insane. Okay, so just the middle, uh, just the middle pickup here. about the telly too is that um it's this kind of um this this middle this open voice to nasal cavity eq that this gu guitar model specifically has over other ones um you really can hear the difference but when picking up here as opposed to picking down here um not so much highlighted in this middle pickup but definitely <laughs> Okay. And this is the, the neck pickup all day long. Wow, insane, beautiful.
beautiful instrument. Maple cap neck. Beautiful instrument, my gosh. Name the United States of America. Country music. This is the country music guitar. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot believe I'm holding this. Insane. Oh, let's see what the beat bender can do. I've never really tried beat bending, so <laughs> we'll try it. Let's try. All right. <laughs> So the way that the, the glazer works is this. It's as simple as a pull down. I remember one time I played Brent, he showed me, it was on stage. Um, why, right when I got up, he called me up in the middle of a song. And it was, um. So Brent bought this guitar with Don Kelly uh, about three blocks away from the house that I'm living in now. Brent was Don Kelly's first guitar player in 1981 or 84, something like that. They played at a place called the Stagecoach Lounge. And I was one of Don Kelly's last guitar players. And Brent and Don bought two tellies on the same day for around $350. Don Kelly bought this telly, Brent Mason bought another telly. At one of their gigs that night, they were playing seven nights a week at a place called the Stagecoach on Murfreesboro Road. Brent said, Don, I think I'd like to try that telly. And Don, in Don Kelly fashion, was like, oh, I don't really care. Yeah, you take it, because I'm going to sell it anyway. Don would love turning guitars over for a profit. As you can see, I don't like turning them over too much. <laughs> And that's my song. Ha <laughs> ha funny is that? <laughs>